We've got a very special coach's eye this week, and the reason why it's special is because this is a special request from Yanni, who is one of our editors here at Ombi. Uh, he has, uh, let's just say, he's very fond of our server today. Uh, we're going to be looking at the amazing, gentle touch of Josie Prendergast. <laughs> So we often get a lot of requests coming in for some longboard content and primarily we do a lot of shortboard stuff. So we have got some longboarding here today. Now, if you haven't downloaded our new app, make sure you head over to ombi.co, scroll to the bottom of the page and join our amazing community. It's completely free to join and you get access to not only this content, but a whole bunch of other free content. You get access to the entire Ombi method, which is Clay's encyclopedia of surfing, you get access to that for free and you can also then check out our paid online programs as well while you are there. But let's dive into the iPad and let's have a look at Josie's surfing. So and a lot of longboarders feel that they've got to manhandle the board just like rah, and yeah. really, you know, really push hard to make the board turn. Well, it's a lot of board to move around. It is, but the thing is, because it's so big, you're never going to be able to do like those real big shortboard turns. Your shortboard's got curve, the rails are round, everything's designed to, to turn a lot more. Mm. Now, longboards, you want to surf them a lot more sensitive. Yeah, I might put it in slow mode. You can keep you, 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 okay. you, you keep talking. I was just going to add so some ambience to the background. What I like about this is look at her posture. She's standing up straight, there's zero tension in her body. And then whenever you do walk a longboard, it's small steps, it's baby steps. Oh, look at this. So, look how she glides into the wave. There's no rushing. There's a soft knees on the bottom turn. Now watch this little adjustment on the top. Beautiful cross steps. So light and elegant on the toes, I mean on yeah. the feet. All right. The, do you know how hard it is to walk back? That, it, that well, was yes I do. Phenomenal. Because, because we've been riding logs a bit recently. And going back, walking backwards is not something that Anthony can do. Now, what I want to show you, which is important, she stacks her joints and she does small movements. So what I mean by stacking the joints, it's ankle, knee, hip and shoulder. They're all pretty much in a straight line. Yeah. And if you get your joints in a straight line, your balance is going to be really good. Mm. A lot of people who try to force long boards end up bending their backs and mm. they're, they're almost unstack all their joints, which makes them a bit wobbly, which then affects the balance of the board. Yeah. And then watch, watch the crossover step. So nice and small. Okay, she steps back. It's so gentle. She makes it look like she's doing it on dry land, not on a board that's moving on water. Okay. Now, here's the interesting thing. Wherever she points her knees, the board's going to go. Okay, so okay, 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 so a lot of the past videos that, that we've done, we, we've talked about that lead hand, and that lead hand points wherever that lead hand goes, the board's going to go that way. Now you're talking about the knees, which is obviously slightly different because okay, she's not so, using her hands. So you've got to think about this, right? A long board, it's heavy, yeah, and it's flat, mm -hmm. so it gets a lot of lift early, and it gets a lot of momentum. So yep. it's got speed. Have you ever tried to ride a bicycle without? using the handlebars, so you take your hands off. How do you steer the bicycle? In my younger days, I would have done that, not so much okay. now. So what you actually do, you can almost like put your knees against the bike and hold it. Yeah. And if you just lean over and kind of point your knees, the bike follows. Yeah. Okay, so in other words, you almost use your hips to help you point the knees. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. So see she points the knees, no arms. Oh yeah. And the board turns. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I really, now look at this. She takes a little step back, a little step forward. I want to see if she does a little top turn, what the knees do. All right, that's the back of the clip again. So I only find where she just banks. Um, One thing I was super impressed with is, is on that takeoff, how, it's a big board. She gets that thing to turn really quick. Okay, so right here, the nose is facing the beach. Mm. Okay, so a lot of people would think you want to kind of crank the tail, lift the board up. Yeah. All right? So she gets her weight over the rail. So it's almost like she stood on that side of the stringer almost. 
All right, so there's a little bit of a lean. And that turn there is so soft and gentle. She's just pointing the knees. That's, that's what blew my mind, is how, is how soft and gentle she made that look when that is a big board that she is trying to manoeuvre. Yeah, I can't imagine she's particularly heavy either. So what it is, is by simply leaning over, all right, and waiting. Notice she doesn't rush the turns. No. She doesn't expect to go, oh, and the board turns. She just gently pursues that turn and that's why we call it the gentle touch. Mm. Because she's feeling the wave and it's, she's trying to understand what does the wave want me to do? How does it want me to turn? How does it want me to follow the water? How does it want me to flow? And then when she walks, there's the, the timing of the walk. Like everything's just the right time at the right pace. Can't say enough good things so about I, it. I think that that's a, a really interesting- Look at that posture. I think that you've just said something there, which you've kind of glassed over pretty quickly, and that is that she is feeling what the wave wants, rather than her trying to force what she wants upon the wave. Okay, so look at this wave. It's, it's fairly hollow here, okay? So, and then it's got this little fat section. Mm -hmm. So she does a bit of a walk. Right, there she goes, but then the wave fattens up and she waits. You can actually see the wave is, it's taller here and then it goes smaller there. Yeah. All right. And then as soon as it gets into the part where it, it gets more energy again, and this is the energy part of the wave. So she waits, she then continues the walk. And then the wave's gonna close out, so she's gotta do a bottom turn. So mm -hmm. she steps back to get the leverage to lean and put the board on rail. So there's a step back. So do you see what I mean about how she's reading the, the wave, she's yeah. understanding this is fast, this is slow, I need yeah. to wait, I need to go. Um, it's oh, it's such, here we go, hang on, we got, some, we got some more, we got some more. It's such a beautiful dance that she's doing with yeah. it. This, this, so, this. All right, so only on while, paddled in really slowly on the previous one we did. Yep. So look at the so glider. If, if you haven't seen that only on while uh, How to clip, rip small waves. That, that was all about small waves. It should have been the week before this one. Look at her knees. They're like sprinters pointing forward, so she's front on mm -hmm. there, all right? So she's moving really well, then she's pointing her knees where she wants to go. Notice her stance is narrow. Yep. If you had a really wide stance, do you think you could point your knees? No, and I think that that's... Beginner surfers and those sort of beginner to very early intermediate, I think quite often they make that mistake of making their stance really wide. Yeah, so when you go too wide in your stance, it locks you up. It, the narrower you go, you're able to do crossovers and walks. Yeah. So for long borders, it's really important to stack the joints and have a bit of a narrower stance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's the lean on the bottom turn. I think, oh, look at that. Look at how straight her back is. Every step is balanced. Balanced. Look at her hips forward. She actually, if you look here, she actually shifts her hips forward. So watch it carefully. There. Oh yeah. Do you see that? Yep. That's more speed and that's style. The only other girl I see do that is Steph Gilmore, who really throws her hips. Oh yeah, especially and, with, yeah, and but, generates speed. It's it's a beautiful way of was, surfing. There, there was a really good clip of Steph Gilmore actually. Uh, I think she was surfing Green Mountain a little twenty, and you, and you saw that a lot where she pushed her hips forward, and you'd see the board go vroom and the speed up every time she did it. But just the way that the way that um, oh, she just sets us so much feeling. Oh, look at the cross step back. Look at the balanced leg. Where the Josie w walks up, up up and down the board to me is. We've, we've been out on the logs recently. When I'm trying to shimmy up and down the board, um, you, you know when you get a dog and it's sat on the floor and it's like pulling itself along, wiping its bum <laughs> along the floor? That's what I look like when I'm trying to walk up and down the board. Josie makes it look just, she makes it look like she's walking just down the street. It's like I'm walking down the street and I'm just gonna walk back up the street. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. All right, so. so let's, yeah, so let's, let's, let's sort of funnel this down now. For anybody watching this and they want to take something out of this and take it into their surfing, what are the what is the one gold golden nugget? What is the the, the the couple of things that we should take away and, and copy and paste into our surfing? So if this was a a dancing contest and it was ballroom dancing, yeah. she just looks light and graceful on her feet. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is 
every movement is she doesn't overstep. Yeah. All right. She she does just what's necessary, and she moves within her comfort zone where everything looks smooth and calculated. Yeah. But the big thing is her pointing her knees where she wants to go. Because that means her hips are forward, she's front on, yeah. she gets better peripheral vision, and it's way easier to move like a sprinter than it is to move like a crab. So um, it makes for very stylish surfing, and her being relaxed means that she can actually read the wave and feel the wave so much better. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, so what has been your biggest takeaway? Leave that in the comments below. Also, what other longboarders would you like us to, to put through the Coach's Eye process? Who would you like us to... So, as, as, as I said back at the beginning, most of our stuff is normally shortboards, but we love doing the longboard stuff as well. So put some suggestions uh, forward for us. Let uh, us know who I you want to I wouldn't say they're shortboards. I, I, if you think about it, we've done finless. I suppose so. Yeah, we've done, we've done some crazy stuff. What it is, it's people that move well. Yeah. And, and there, there we go. Comment below. Who do you think moves really well on a surfboard? I don't care what they ride. Yeah. As long as they're moving well. So it could be bodyboarding, could be an, an a layer, it could be, it could be uh, we, we've done body surfing before as well. Yeah. Um, could be a longboard, could be soft tops, whatever, whatever it is. So if you think that they move well, leave that in the comments below um, and then we'll check it out and maybe do a coach's eye on them. Remember, if you haven't downloaded the app, make sure you head over to onby.co, download the app. And also, you know what to do if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and also hit that notification bell. Guys, see you in the next video. Cheerio. Toodaloo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just before you go, I want to tell you about an amazing competition that we're running here at Ombi, uh, where you can win a custom clay surfboard designed for you by Clayton himself. There's coaching sessions, there's access to our premium membership. If you're watching this video before the 30th of April, 2022, then you stand a chance of winning one of those prizes. All you've got to do is click the link below for all of the details.